Hey guys, this is a video um, just to try to help the do it yourselfer. I've had a lot of emails and calls, and uh, people stop by all the time. This, these videos, uh, this is just an introduction. Is uh, not for the guy that's been doing body work for 20 years, of course. This is just for the guy trying to fix one car and save some money. Um, times are hard, so a lot of guys are trying to do stuff themselves, and I'll try to help you through it. Uh, the products you use makes a big difference. You don't have to spend a lot of money. As far as paint goes, I mean, PPG and Glazerid and DuPont, they're all awesome paints, super expensive. There's some cheap paints out there that are horrible, that uh, in Florida here, if you leave them in the sun, they start to fade in six months. We use a polyurethane, uh, two different companies. Uh, paint costs you anywhere from 100 to 150 bucks, and um, we spray our tow trucks in it, and uh, holds up extremely well in the Florida sun. We don't wax them or anything like that, and two, three years later, it's still shiny. But this is just a rundown of some basic products, and like I said, uh, they make a big difference. Uh, this is a DA. It was bought at um, Tractor Supply. It's uh, called a farm hand. It worked really well uh, and pretty inexpensive for a DA. Uh, I bought some from Harbor Freight, and they don't work well, and I bought $200 ones, and they work great, but that's expensive. You, this works fine. Farm hand again, bought at uh, Tractor Supply. So that's just a, a DA. Um, I'll go with the uh, Bondo next because uh, for plastic, it's actually called plastic. You can spend anywhere $65 a gallon to uh, $20 a gallon. Um, we use a Dynalite. You can buy it at Napa. I think AutoZone has it. Works extremely well. Sands good. Um, it grades out uh, pretty good. So. Uh, this is your best bet. Uh, the Bondo product that you buy for $20 or whatever it is nowadays, it's like sand and concrete. It's really, I see a lot of guys use that and get in a lot of trouble because it's so hard. You got it, you're talking a couple dollars difference for this product. I know this product works. I would stay with this. Um, so that's, that's where you go. On primers, we use two primers. Evercoat is uh, four to one. It comes with a bottle. You mix it four to one. We mix a little thinner in it to uh, slow down the uh, kick time, actually. Uh, about 62 to $65 makes five to push in six quarts, which is more than enough for a Fiat. Um, on a Fiat, using this product, you could put on probably four coats, block it, and then put another four coats on and still have a little left afterward. So it's Evercoat four to one. Uh, works awesome. You can start out with 220 and finish, finish four or five hundred, and uh, you'll have no 220 marks in it. It's a great, great, great product, and it doesn't shrink. The advantage to a, a polyester is uh, no shrinkage. Once it dries, it's dry. So if you have um, a lot of body work or rough edges, this will take care of it and hold that down, where a lot of the primers won't. On the note, never, ever, ever use lacquer primer. Uh, especially in Florida, any damp area. Lacquer actually absorbs moisture and it'll actually move underneath polyurethane or urethane. Try to stay away from it. This is a little more toxic. It dries almost as fast as lacquer, believe it or not, and uh, uh, it holds up extremely well. Uh, compound, we use McGuire's Diamond Cut. It's the only compound that we use. Um, it'll take out thousand grit and finish with almost no swirl marks. And we use old school uh, buffers, uh, buffing pads. That's what all, most of my stuff is done with. We don't use foam pads. And uh, works really well. This is just a cheapy, I think this was $29 at Harbor Freight. It's not going to last real long, but it'll get you to a, at least a couple cars. I have a DeWatt and a Milwaukee that I use, but uh, my Milwaukee is being rebuilt, so I bought this right now. And actually, it works pretty well for $29. And you guys can get it. And it actually comes with the Velcro pad, which you need. So, compounding and polish pad, $29 for a buffer. You get through a car or two at least. And they have 90 day warranty, so you can bring it back if you wear it out. But it works, it works good. The last two cars on the website were buffed out with this, with this buffer. So, just a quick rundown. Uh, I'll also give you some uh, spray guns. 
This is a gun we'll use for priming. We don't use it for paint. It's a HVLP. It's a cheap gun from Harbor Freight, but man, for shooting this primer or any thick base primer, it works really well. Um, a lot of guys I notice when they go to paint, they'll buy a gun, a cheap gun, and they'll buy HVLP. Um, if you're not painting a lot, HVLP will put more of an orange peel on it, so you want a conventional gun. Now you can buy a cheap conventional gun. Um, this is actually a Binks Model uh, 62 uh, that I sprayed with. I have a Binks Model 7, a Seda, a bunch of them. But I like my uh, Binks for shooting polyurethane. It actually makes a difference. Uh, this gun here is a cheap Harbor Freight gun. It's a conventional. It's an imitation uh, gun, but works really well and it's conventional. So that's what you want to look for for painting is a conventional tip. Don't use an HBLP. You're not a shop. You don't really have to worry too much about how much stuff's getting in the air. For a primer, this, this gun's great. Um, but it doesn't atomize the paint well enough for a do-it-yourselfer guy. So those are the couple big things. Watch your product on sandpaper. Always try to use, and it'll make a difference, uh, 3M. We use Norton Blue, but use 3M or Norton Blue. The sandpaper um, Norton will outlast you know, any of the cheapy ones and make sanding actually easier. Uh, DA paper, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, Lowe's has uh, DA paper, 6 inch, comes in a 25 pack. Anything from, I think it's uh, 60 grit to 320. Works very well. So you got to watch your sandpaper because it actually makes a difference when you're working. Um, the grit is more consistent on these, these type papers and this holds up better. So you need basic blocks. You know, for the do-it-yourselfer, you can use the airboard, like I said, it's a cheapy grinder. You know, you can get a Harbor Freight. If you have a MIG welder later, I'll be showing you how to pull dents well, with a MIG welder instead of buying a unispotter and um, a grader. When you buy this, this is a professional grader. AutoZone and some other places sell a grader that uh, doesn't work. I'll try to get a part number for this, what this grader is. It's a half moon shape. It works extremely well, as you can see in the videos, and it really helps the do it yourself or guy. I mean, I've used this for 30 years, uh, this, this style, and um, we've done everything from chop tops to 34 to almost everything. Now, this is great for big dents. If you just have a slight little, uh, like a small little door ding, you're not going to use something like this. But if you did a welded patch or got a big dent and a lot of, a lot of uh, plastic on it, you want to use this. So, uh, I hope that helps. Um, like I said, just trying to give you a run-up of what you might need for the do-it-yourselfer. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just give me a holler or send me an email. Thanks for watching.